Grand Raw Rising, Kings and Queens. Grab your coffee or your tea and enjoy some sacred healing space for all ages and reflections that are welcomed. No matter if you're at work, watching the kiddos at home, or even driving on the road, Rising with Raw is a beautiful sacred space to learn about the chakras as well as receive our collective card reading for the day. Along with this, we will have beautiful guests and members of the tribe come on to share their gifts, their practices, knowledge, and wisdom as we self-empower and become aware of who we are as we go forth by day. Grand Raw Rising, everyone. On this episode of Rising with Raw, we explore the ancient Egyptian alchemical oracle deck, Book of Doors. And with the Book of Doors, we connect with our spirit guide of today's Rising with Raw. And that is going to be the wounded healer and shamanic healer, Anubis. To learn about some more details of Anubis and his purpose, we go into my shamanic Egyptian astrology book and we get to learn about his connection with Chiron and being able to turn our wounds into our gifts. We then connect and tie this into our chakra of the day being the sacral chakra and the practice of the space. We use some crystals connect with Nubis and write a letter to our inner child. And then we go into a great pyramid meditation to connect with our inner child and bring love and healing. Enjoy the episode. Feel free to leave your feedback or anything that you'd like to reflect upon or that you got downloaded during this video. If you are someone that would like to be a guest on Rising with Raw, you may direct message me, Marcus Crystalite, to set up an episode. I'll share.
Grand raw rising, grand day. Welcome to Rising with Raw. I am your sacred host and Pharaoh of the space, Marcus Crystallite. Today, on this Rising with Raw, we are going to be going deep. We're going to be going deep into the wounds. We're going to be connecting with the wounded healer, the shaman, the prince of the underworld. And healing, rebirth and regeneration. Today we will be connecting with the wonderful guide from Sirius, the shamanic wounded healer. Anubis. As we dive today into the sacral chakra, as our chakra of the day, we'll be connecting with Anubis to help heal any pains, heal any wounds, our inner child deficiencies of love. Today is the day where we sit with our inner child and give our love and guidance to the inner child. Today is the day that we sit with our inner child and listen to what it has to say and give it it's our respect our respect of listening and just giving love to the inner child today is the day that we pull back the layers of our childhood traumas, sexual misuse that we have experienced, many blockages surrounding being feminine. So get ready for an emotional day on Rising with Raw. Get ready to shed tears, to purge, to feel the pain, to feel the suffering, to feel our past experiences and sit with our inner child so we may let go and surrender and move on so we can be fully present to manifest and embody the life that we wish in purity, love, unity, honor, and gratitude.
So today on Rising with Ra, our collective card reading, we will not be sorting through the cards and opening up to any guide or being today. Today we are using the alchemical Book of Doors, Ancient Egyptian, Comedic Deck. And we will specifically be utilizing the oracle energy of our spirit guide that we are connecting with today to assist us in our chakra of the day, the sacral. That being Anpu, Anubis. Antpu is the Kemetic original name for Anubis. Anubis is Greek for Anpu. <clears throat> Later on, when we get into our chakra, and move into our practice that we'll be utilizing. There's a wonderful strategy that I'm going to invite us to practice together today. And as I was saying, it might be emotional, it might be messy. But know that it's worth it. Know that it's worth acknowledging what has been stuck within, blocking and creating resistance and dis-ease. So we may let go of it and dissolve it, or at least start. So we can become lighter, become more of our true higher self. and be able to embody the balance and light that we wish to see in this world. So let's get vulnerable today. Not just for yourself, but for everyone. For the whole conscious collective grid. This is what this space is for today is healing the wounds, cleaning out the scars, giving love to our inner child for the unified consciousness that we all are. Tap in and rise together. Before we begin, last reminders for this weekend. This Saturday, tomorrow, 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern, I will be holding the second Sacred Light Meditation Space on Zoom. It's free donation-based, suggested donation of $22. And we'll be journaling, reflecting with each other in a sacred community space as well as I will be guiding a meditation or a healing energy practice to complement our journaling and reflection or integration. We will have four different topics and intentions to choose from for tomorrow's space on Zoom from 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern. And those four topics I will be able to vote from as an equal community in the Zoom space will be inner child healing, abundance and fortune, self-awareness, self-love, and lastly, cord clearings and relationships. We will all be able to vote 
uh, which topic of choice for tomorrow. And if you'd like to be a part of this space tomorrow at 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern, just direct message me. And I will give you the link as well as the sacred boundaries of the space. Free donation based. And then next on Sunday, Sunday I will be holding my first Crystal Healing 101 class of my five part series. Now this space is $33 or you can pay for all five classes ahead of time for 144. This Sunday in the first crystal healing class, we'll be going over the function, the universal meaning, the esoterics, the science, and the mechanics behind how crystals work and why they're able to do what they do in this world and in our lives so we can deeper our, deepen our connection and become more aware of what crystals truly are and their multidimensionality. If you would like to be a part of this, but you're not able to make the date, the crystal healing classes will be recorded and you may purchase the recordings as well. And if you'd like to be a part of this crystal healing class coming up this Sunday or any of the others throughout the month, you may direct message me and I will send you the link. So those are my reminders of activities coming up this weekend that you may be a part of. So as we begin, I'd like to go ahead and do an invocation and call in our wonderful guide today, Anubis. You may repeat after me if you would like. Lord Anpu, Anubis, Syrian healer, Master Shaman, Guide of Lost Souls, Caretaker of the Underworld, Preparer of Transition, I open up this space to you to be present within our beings and around us, to receive your medicine to receive your guidance, to receive your love. I am open to your healing. I am open to your wisdom. I am surrendering. What is blocking my sacral chakra from functioning and its balance? thus including my sexual energy, my inner child, and my creativity. May you, Anpu Anubis, Lord of the Underworld, help dissolve and bring love to my sacral chakra in this space. May you help me repair and clear my relationships of toxicity and negative cords. May you remind me what it feels like 
to nurture myself and to cradle myself with love of unconditioned. May you help so and close my wounds of the past so I may be whole again and imbalance my being. Lord Ampu, I thank you for being a divine serving being an aspect of the all that I am. Ashe. You may feel a warmth in your stomach. You may feel a warmth in your sacral. You may feel a warmth rising up your solar plexus. This is Anubis's energy flowing through you. You may feel a safety surrounding you, a protective energy as well. Anubis is here to help us face our darkest parts, our most wounded parts, and to restore them back to balance. Hey, grand day everybody, it is Marcus Crystallite. And I wanted to make this reminder for you real quick to remind you that coming up this Sunday is going to be my first Crystal Healing 101 class of my five part series. And it is $33 for this class, or you can go ahead and purchase all five of the series for $144. And within this Crystal Healing 101 class that will be held on Zoom call at 1.11 p.m. Eastern this Sunday on the 5th, we will be going over the mechanics, the function, the metaphysics, the esoteric meaning, as well as the principles and what crystals are to us in this universe and why they're able to do what they do. So we'll be going full in depth for diving into the crystals and how they are utilized throughout history and time, as well as the science behind how they work in this physical realm and how they're able to do what they do for us. So if you'd like to be a part of this space and you would like to learn this, just direct message me and I'll send you the Zoom link as well as the boundaries for the space. And it's just $33 for the single class. It'll be about two hours long. And if you're not able to make the date, but you want to be a part of this and you want to be able to receive the knowledge and information, you can also purchase a recording of the class. So then you can have at any time and work at your own pace with the video. So that's coming up this Sunday, Crystal Healing 101. Just let me know if you would like to be a part of that and I will go through the motions with you. And then the second one will be on 11-11. So just keep an eye out for that. And I'll remind you guys again as well. Thank you guys. Have a beautiful and blessed day. Wholeness and balanced love. card reading guide from the oracle today 
our spirit guide of rising with Ra, Ampu, Anubis, A little foresight today in our practice for the sacral as we connect with Anubis. Today I invite you to write a letter, to write a letter to your inner child. Express to your inner child today any guidance, any wisdom, any loving words, any releasing words that you feel called to serving and providing to your inner child. So it may feel more secure, more loved, more safe in that peace to be able to express its innocent, pure nature. to be curious, to feel the blessings of life, and to flow with joy. So today we will be journaling a letter to our inner child. And then we will be integrating it into a light language clearing with Ampu. And that will be the second half of Rising with Ra. Now, reading out of the book of the Alchemical Oracle deck, Ampu, opener of the ways to wrap around. The jackal headed dog, God, Ampu, is a powerful duat natur. This worship goes back to very ancient times. He was revered throughout Egypt as a friend and helper of the dead. His symbolic animal, the jackal or desert dog, lived in the mountains and deserts where the burial grounds were sited and was always associated with the tombs of the dead. Ampu was the child of Azar. Asar is Osiris, a god with whom he was closely associated. He was conceived through Azar's liaison with the goddess Nebhet. Abandoned by her, he was brought up by Aset, which is Isis, and was always seen to be her faithful companion. As we have already noted, Nebet Het is the alchemical principle of decomposition and decay, and Ampu, through the association, appeared as a dark god, intimately concerned with the embalming of the bodies of the dead. He is always shown in the judgment scene at the hall of the weighing of the heart, checking the balance of the scales and guarding the door at the end of the hall of the Mayat goddesses. As one of the main Neturu in the Book of the Dead, he accompanies the dead through the Duats on their way to Asar, and it is Ampu who receives the body into the tomb. He is another keeper of the threshold. In the card, Ampu holds the Ankh as his function of preserver of life and the scepter of magical power. Mm -hmm. 
divinatory meaning, a spiritual and magical guide into occult mysteries, a friend and trusted advisor. Not much more to say about this reading. As we've already explained, the type of energy that Anubis carries and provides for us and what we are diving into today, as it all encompasses and covers the surface of this space today. A reminder, if we do not give healing, if we do not give attention and love to ourself and these aspects, such as the inner child or our sexual energy, they will create patterns, distortions, and much more imbalanced manifestations unconsciously and unintentionally from the background and into our present life through our actions our words and thoughts and we may not even be conscious of it remember to give yourself grace be easy on yourself and to remember how complex and how delicate this life is. And sometimes we get caught in autopilot. Sometimes we struggle. Sometimes we slip up and have flaws. And I'm telling you now today Whoever needs to hear this, it is okay. It is part of being human. It is the point of this journey. We are learning to remember and trying to be our best. Maybe sometimes we're blocked up and we feel and forget what it's like to be loved, to feel loved, or to give love. And I'm not here to place an identity on you. I'm not here to slap a label on you as anything other than a multidimensional being going through experiences for the greater good of all. But just remember, remember where you draw the line. Remember where you can instill discipline. And remember where you can apply more honor and gratitude. Our Oracle card of the day, Anubis, Ampu.
here's someone that would like to go deeper into your inner child and inner child healing process and you'd like a guide or a helping hand you can also reach out to myself as I do offer inner child generational clearing and healing sessions Just reach out to me if you're someone that would like to go deeper into your inner child healing and have a guide and helping hand and we could book a session. So now that we have participated in our collective card reading of the day, Continuing on in this rising with raw space. We're going to go ahead and go over our chakra of the day, which will be the sacral chakra. The sacral chakra is located below the belly button or the navel around the bladder. The color that is resonance for the chakra is orange. The Hertz frequency that resonates for this one for sound healing is 417 Hertz. The physical organs of the body that it encompasses is the reproductive system the kidneys, and the bladder. The characteristics and traits that this energy portal carries into our human life is our sexual life force energy. It is our sensuality and sensual nature, as well as our pleasure system. Your sensuality as in being able to sense, to feel, to be one with our emotions, and to be able to feel the blessings of life and feel the divinity of the moment, to be able to feel the ecstasy and the electric of what you're doing and being present, feeling connection and relationships. It is also the energy center for the inner child. It is also the energy center for our feminine energy and where it cultivates to become creative energy. And lastly, it is the energy center directly for our intimate relationships. Identifying blockages within this chakra. Blockages can manifest and look like traumas regarding sexual energy, having a lack of sexual vitality, emotional wounding, Fear of being seen, being self-conscious, having no spark for passion, creative blocks, afraid of intimacy, repressing thoughts and emotions, and the inability to have fun and open up your inner child. Identifying overactivations in the sacral. Leaking of sexual energy. Extremely childish and immature. And lastly, being overly effective. Overly affectionate to unhealthy outlets.
foods and herbs that you may utilize and consume to help balance the sacral. Carrots, mangoes, oranges, orange peppers, peaches, apricots, and sweet potato. Black seed, almonds, walnuts, and sesame. And then lastly, coconut and cinnamon. The mantra for the sacral is VAM, V-A-M. Some techniques you may use to help activate it in your child play, such as watching cartoons, anime, or anything that you enjoy. Enjoying activities with others, flow arts, dance, hip area yoga flows. Now, moving over into crystals that you may use for crystal healing at the sacral. You have pyrite, orange calcite, tiger's eye, citrine, snowflake obsidian, moonstone, sunstone, and unakite. These are just a few, and there are much more out there. And today, I am wearing my citrine and snowflake obsidian bracelets, as well as my red tiger's eye and onyx, my cat's eye with copper ring, and then I also have pyrite and golden tiger's eye. If you'd like to learn more about crystal healing and how you may utilize crystals in your everyday life, from your home space, to your workspace, to your room, crystal grids, or utilizing them for your healing, you can also direct message me as well and schedule a crystal healing 101 session as well. So that is our chakra of the day, the sacral chakra. And now moving into our guide of the day, our spirit guide of the day, which is Anubis. I will be reading out of the shamanic Egyptian astrology book regarding Ampu Anubis and what he means in the aspect of shamanic Egyptian astrology. Sacred Light Healing and Wellness is a sacred safe space and container to help bridge and streamline the collective conscious. Along with this, providing spaces and holistic energy healing practices to help uncover our hearts and strengthen each other from within. Beautiful brother, thank you. So that we may tap <laughs> in you. to the awareness of our sacred light within. If you are someone that is looking for sacred space, looking for conscious reflection, conscious guidance, as well as receiving energy in particular practices that are able to help with shedding layers, becoming clear, gaining wisdom from our past experiences as well as strengthening our relationships and bringing balance and harmony into our everyday well-being. 
Here at Sacred Light Healing and Wellness, I, Marcus Crystal Light, offer my holistic quantum healing services of Reiki, personal customizable guided meditations, light language activations, crystal healing, soul origin and kasha meditations, chakra empowerment, intuitive life guidance, and oracle card readings. These services are all available to you today through my holistic energy healing practices. You may contact me, Marcus Crystallite, on Instagram, sacredlight33, Facebook, Crystallite Robbins, email, marcustut23 at gmail.com. Contact me today to inquire about a service or to ask any questions on your healing journey. Wholeness, balanced love. All right, so Anubis. Anubis in astrology represents Chiron, the wounded healer. Anubis, the jackal-headed god, is our great teacher. It is Anubis who shares with us our most important earth lessons. It is he who shows us that our wounds are our gifts and that our souls actually chose the difficult experiences of our childhood so that we may grow in ways specific to these wounds. This idea that our wounds are our gifts is a difficult concept. Many people go through a true crisis of faith when they try to understand why there is so much pain on this planet. Why is it that so many people must suffer? Children and animals are abused. People suffer as a result of war and conflict and natural catastrophics. The earth itself is in distress. Why is all this suffering necessary? In the story of Anubis, as given to us by the Greek historian Plutarch, there appears great suffering, abandonment, and rejection. Anubis was the result of an affair between Nephthysist and Osiris. As Plutarch tells the story, Nephthys abandoned Anubis, although in truth he was never truly abandoned. He has been told to Linda Starwolf through intuitive transmissions of downloaded information. Nephthys left Anubis in the desert by arrangement with Isis so that her husband Set cannot kill him. Isis went to the desert, retrieved her nephew, and brought him home with her. She raised Anubis as her own son. It was necessary that Anubis be born of a lunar goddess and raised by a solar goddess. His father, Osiris, 
later became the god of the never-ending cycle of death, rebirth, and generation. Anubis grew up one of the primary funerary gods of ancient Egypt. He assisted Isis and Hephaestus in the remembering of the body of Osiris after he had been killed and dismembered by Set. Anubis guarded the tombs of the pharaohs, and it is his head that originally sat on the shoulders of the statue known as the Great Sphinx. Anubis plays an important role in the ritual of renewal that must take place so that each soul is ready to embark on their new life in the afterlife. It is Anubis who helps each of us through the transition times between the worlds. And most of all, it is he who opens us, renews us, and washes away the pain and suffering of our old incarnation so that we may once again be made whole. His role as a renewer of life, not just as a guardian of the dead, cannot be over, overemphasized. In Western astrology, his parallel archetype is Chiron. In the Greek myth, Chiron was a centaur, half human, half horse. In one version of his story, Chiron's mother was a human who had been raped by a cantor. When his mother gave birth to a cantor, she was horrified and immediately abandoned him. Chiron crawled into a nearby cave and curled up ready to die. Some wood nymphs took pity on him and brought food to the mouth of the cave. Chiron, enticed by the smell of the life-giving food, crawled forth and ate, and then went back into the cave to sleep and to grow. This was repeated for many days until eventually Chiron became too big for the cave and crawled out. The metaphor is that Chiron gave birth to himself. Chiron grew up to be one of the most revered and respected beings on Mount Olympus. The Cantors as a race were a rowdy bunch not to be trusted. Chiron, however, was unique amongst Cantors. He became a philosopher, a physician, a herbalist, a teacher, an astrologer, an advisor to Zeus, Jupiter. Went to visit Chiron and were assured of receiving great wisdom and foresight. Out of the wounds of abandonment and rejection came this highly evolved being. This time in life represents a powerful turning point. Most of us spend a good deal of our lives run by our wounds. We strive against them, react to them, or are crushed by their weight. When we reach the age of 50, our psyche is ready to rise above the pain of our childhood abandonments. This doesn't mean we forget what has happened or deny our pain, but it does mean we accept not just what happened to us, but what was meant to happen to us. We begin to understand that. Through these wounds, we have learned the greatest lessons of our lives. Okay, so that is 
some beautiful information regarding our spirit guide of the day, which is the wounded healer and shaman, Ampu Anubis. And that is from the shamanic Egyptian astrology book by Linda Starwolf for anybody out there. Wonderful book. Goes through the Egyptian pantheon and relates them to the different planets and other astrology meanings. And it's a wonderful way to learn astrology or to learn the Egyptian pantheon together in a beautiful combo. Hydration check for everybody. Make sure you're drinking clean water today. Repeat after, after me. me. I, affirm I affirm that this, that this space, space is sacred, is sacred sealed, sealed and filled, filled with pure, pure rainbow, rainbow love, love regenerating, regenerating, rejuvenating, rejuvenating soothing, soothing my being. being. Ashe. Ashe. Looks like Ampu is shining a beautiful orange and white light into our space today. Hmm. Got a little bit of sweet orange essential oil, which is also a great tool and beautiful medicine to help assist with your sacral as well, help uplift your energy. Everybody in the comments, what's your favorite essential oil? If you're someone that likes to use them, shout out to all the essential oil users. What's your favorite essential oil? Put in the comments. Whether you're here on the Instagram live, the replay, or on YouTube later on. One of my favorite essential oils is lemon or lemongrass. And I also like the Hawaiian cedar woods as well. Those are probably my favorites. The cedar woods, the Hawaiian woods, as well as lemon and lemongrass are probably my main favorites. I also like the combos too, of course. You know, like the combo of like orange and lemon. Cinnamon's pretty cool as well. <clears throat> Holly says, sweet orange, neroli, pine. What's neroli? 
if you care to explain a little bit in the comments what that is. I'm kind of curious. Never heard of it. <clears throat> I'm just going to go ahead and clear out the space a little bit, create even more zero point field for us as we move into our practice. I'll be using some Palo Santo here to do so. And go ahead and grab your journals or whatever it is that you'd like to write or type into as we write our letters today to our inner child. Neroli is bitter orange and citrus blossom. Wow. That sounds like something I definitely need to check out considering that I like, you know, eat lemon, orange, and citrus. Thank you for sharing that. I will definitely be taking a look at that one. And before we begin, I just want to give you guys the reminder of our Rising with Raw Zen Space community share. And if you are somebody that would like to share the crystals that you use, the altar or the way that you prepare your at home or wherever you may be, during this Rising with Raw episode or during the practice, you may send in images or videos of your Zen space that you create during this practice. And I will add them in to the YouTube episode so you can share a little bit of your light and authenticity with the Conscious Collective, as well as develop human connection and give ideas to others on what these spaces are like and the wonderful energy that is shared. As we keep going on, it seems like the light that is being brought into our energy fields is getting stronger here and beginning to take over the clarity of my my being. Tap into this light right here. Mm. Sun rays, sun rays of Ra. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and begin our practice now for our sacral chakra today. If you have your paper or if you would like to type, you may go ahead and begin writing your letter to your inner child. And in this letter, just think about ways that you can express love, express gratitude, alleviate the fear, the pain, the abandonments, the wounds that may be carried in your inner child in this present moment. If there is anything that needs to be addressed from past experiences in the childhood regarding school, family, friends, or your own self that you got into, 
It's a good time to journal it out. To tap into forgiveness. To feel unconditional love. And allow yourself to have compassion. As you write this letter to your inner child, you may also give your inner child clarity that it's safe to be itself, that it's safe to be innocent and pure, to be happy, to be joyous, to feel the blessings of love and light and life. If there's any resistance surrounding this, please bring it forth today in the space with Anubis. So we may clear out the sacral, become more pure and balanced. Let go of any struggles that we are having in relationships, any divide, toxic cords, that we are carrying in the relationships of our life. If you need to cry, allow yourself to cry. If you need to yell, you need to move your body, you need to release any stored energies, you are safe to do so. As you write this letter to your inner child, try not to judge yourself. Try not to hold the past towards anybody or anything. And see if there's ways that you can extract wisdom, lessons, or any hindsight. that shows you that it has complimented you and supported you in becoming who you are now. So you may dissolve it and let go to continue becoming your most whole and balanced self. Ashe. No, there's no right or wrong to how you write your letter. There's no length that is necessary. But whatever feels raw and real to you, Do you feel the love? Do you feel the love of this space being open to you? To 
be present in this moment, to safely dive into the sacral and heal your inner child. Are you aware of the love that is present for you? That is allowing this opportunity, the sacrifice of time and effort to allow a free open space for you to love your inner child and to heal. If you're not feeling that love, take a moment, tap into it, and allow it to flow through your being as you are loved by myself, Crystal Light, Anubis, and the divine. If you feel courageous enough and you'd like to come on to the live to share your letter to the inner child for the conscious collective, send a request. I will allow you to come on to share your inner child letter. Before we go into our Anubis healing. So now it's time to begin our inner child healing session with Anubis. So if you may, you can sit or lay down. And as you sit or lay down, getting comfortable, let's check in with our posture if we're sitting, having our back straight as much as possible. You may use a pillow, the edge of a bed, whatever you need to help support your back. If you're laying down, having your legs straight, not crossed, so you're not blocking the flow of energy and now the soles of your feet. Checking in with our jaw, making sure that we are not clenching our teeth. And then checking in with our hands, making sure that we are not balling our fist. The softer the body, the more loose the body, the easier the flow of energy for receiving as well as releasing, causing least resistance. And then next, navigating to the breath. For this practice, we'll be breathing in through the mouth expanding the stomach and then we're going to draw the breath all the way down to the sacral right below the belly button then exhale out the mouth you may do this as slow as you wish or as quickly as you wish but tap in with your body and release the pressure if you are going too quickly. Slow it down. Breathing in through the mouth, expanding the stomach. Directing the breath down to the sacral. Exhaling out of the mouth.
Continue to focus on this breath throughout the meditation. As this will be your balance, this will also move you through any emotions, any releasing, any thoughts, and anything else that arises. Remember that you are safe if anything arises and that you may use the breath to clear it and move you through. Continuing to focus on the breath, you may close your eyes and go inward. And also, if you have any crystals for the sacral, you may go ahead and grab them. And if you're laying down, you can place them on your sacral. And if you're sitting, you can hold them in your hand. Or you can hold them in your hands and place your hands on your sacral. And I'll be doing so with golden tiger's eye and pyrite. Bring our focus to the breath, breathing with the mouth, all the way down to the sacral when we breathe in. Beginning to balance and clear this orange energy center. Beginning to feel warmth and comfort flow through the stomach and through the hips. As you breathe, you may let go of expectations or anywhere else to be besides this present moment. So give yourself love, give yourself attention. And as you continue to breathe, Anubis comes forward. And as Anubis comes forward, he gets down on one knee As he gets down on one knee, he points over with his ankh of life that he is holding. And as he points, he points over to this pyramid, staying with the breath. And as he points to this pyramid, we make our way over to this pyramid that he has guided us to. And as we step into this pyramid, we begin to feel this golden orange energy radiate on the soles of our feet and all around us. And Anubis now takes us down the hall and into this chamber room. And in this chamber room, is your inner child. The child that you were growing up. As you enter, any memories start to come up and flood the mind and emotions. 
Allow yourself to feel these memories, feel these emotions, and stay with the breath. Continuing to breathe as these memories flow through. Now what type of memories are you having? Are they wounds? Are they pains? Are they positive, joyful? Are they scary? Allow yourself to sit with them. Staying with the breath. Now we go over with Anubis to our inner child. And Anubis asks us, asks you to open your arms and wrap your arms around your inner child to caress and hold your inner child with nurturing and love. Stay with the breath. Give your inner child the biggest hug of love. Hugging so tight that you're squeezing, squeezing away the fear, squeezing away the pain, and showing your inner child that it's all right, that its future is bright, and that you are it in the future. And that you have done amazing things, transmuted a lot, and have become a better and greater version of who you are. Feeling this love flow through the sacral and through the inner child. Showing your inner child that the pains, misfortunes, and experiences that has taken place in the past has given you strength, has given you wisdom, has given you hope, has given you power in the present now. And it's okay to let go and to release these past inner child experiences. Staying with the breath, Letting our inner child know that it's safe to celebrate, safe to be joyous, safe to be curious and innocent. And now, thinking about the letter that we wrote to our inner child. Feel free to say that letter 
to your inner child now or to say something similar, to give words of strength, words of wisdom to your inner child. You may repeat this if you would like. My inner child, I love you. I see you. I know you have had some tough times and some experiences that have not been pleasant. I know you have wanted nothing but to be unconditionally loved accepted and seen as you are. I just want you to know that even if you may feel like this is not happening and being received from others, just know now that I your future, older self. I'm giving all of this to you now through my being to yours as we are one. I give you my love. I give you my comfort. I give you my guidance to let you know that it's okay. That we do heal. And that we are able to move on. That we are able to forgive. And to have compassion and understanding for the flaws of human life. I want you to know, my inner child, that all that you've been through has led up to me now and it has given me strength it has given me wisdom and it has helped activate and remind me of the power I have within as a Christ conscious unified being thank you my inner child for giving me messages, for being playful, for showing me how to still be in my innocent nature as a grown adult. I will no longer suppress you, put you to the side to be an adult or to grow older. I will be in balance with you as a mature adult and an innocent inner child as you have a place in my life to be present, to be active, and to be a part of all of my life. You are beautiful. You are loved. You are magnificent. You are safe to be you and to express yourself. And I will protect you and make sure that that is true. Ashe. Now Anubis comes over to share some beautiful magical healing energy to help uplift, regenerate the sacral chakra and the inner child along with any wounds or pains 
that are within our energy field with beautiful light language. Kura chututikya bukura ra chudukiya na munukura ra sukiya na chura chiki ufudapa tikiya no kura ra shikiya mukura ukiya na rakua kura ra yana shia na suwa udura shikiya na kura uruwara ya chukua ikiya na kura kiya uwa ya ya sukuru wa munmaya ra shikiya kura ra yana kua Ushiki araki ana sururuaya yara sikia urara shiki ikiana kuruaya ra pururaya uraya shina tuoti uaya ra yata kia kiu shian uayana sikia wara shia na sua tia kia yakiano kua yasikiana ushiki ne kia kurokaya urara kaya kua Staying with the breath. Anubis now wraps us in this beautiful, protective energy, protecting our energy field as we move forward in this tenderness and vulnerability. And along with this protective energy, it also has love that we can access in healing. You may call upon Anubis at any time for any of these aspects that we spoke upon today. Anubis now takes us out of this chamber as we say farewell to our inner child. But remembering that the inner child is within us at all times and that we may stay in communication with it every day. Now as we leave the pyramid, we step out and we begin to make our way back consciously to our physical body. And when you're ready, navigating back to your physical body and into your environment. Staying with the breath. You may open your eyes, move your body, and shake your body if you need to. Namaste. Stay with the breath if you need to. And remember your breath throughout the day. Remember to hydrate yourself. Clean water.
if you're interested in making your own clean water system, utilizing shungite crystals. I'm going to host a live pretty soon where I will be demonstrating as well as showing the step-by-step -step process on how to create your own shungite water at home. So I'll be going live doing that here in the near future pretty soon. But if you ever have any questions about it, just let me know. If you have any questions about Anubis, if you have any questions regarding the sacral chakra and you'd like to go deep into your sacral chakra in your personal life with a guide, with a healer, and a mind that is conscious to, and helpful, or you'd like to explore crystal healing, just direct message me and I'd love to book a service with you. Gentle reminders, remember to nurture yourself. Remember to allow yourself to let go of feeling like you need to do things whenever you don't need to do things. Give yourself time to relax, to rejuvenate. Support yourself with proper nutrition. And give a little bit of love today. Give a little bit of love to your family, your friends, the relationships you have in your life. I know sometimes life can get a little difficult and it can become hard to give love to those around us. But try to do it a little bit today. Just a little bit. And don't forget, if you want to send in images or videos of your Zen space that you created today during this Rising with Raw practice, send them in to me, direct message, and I will add them in and shout you out in the community share for your Zen space on the Rising with Raw YouTube episode. And then last reminders, tomorrow, Sacred Light Meditation Space, where we'll be journaling, reflecting, and doing a meditation practice. That'll be 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern. It is a free donation-based space. Just direct message me, and I will send you the Zoom link and the boundaries. Invite your friends, your family, anybody that you feel that would really love to be a part of conscious community space and be in this type of practice. And then on Sunday at 1, 1, 1 p.m. Eastern for $33, we have the first Crystal Healing 101 class. Just direct message me with any questions. I'll help you out. And just direct message me if you'd like to be a part of those spaces. Thank you all for being a part of this space today as we went really deep and dove into our sacral and inner child today with Anubis, Ampu. And you guys can catch the replay here on Sacred Light 33 on Instagram, as well as in full on the YouTube channel tomorrow, Sacred Light Healing and Wellness for the collective card of the Oracle regarding Anubis, as well as the shamanic Egyptian astrology information regarding Anubis, as well as our sacral chakra education, and then our meditative practice. Thank you all for supporting and showing your love and receiving. Thank you to all my YouTube subscribers. Wishing you a beautiful, beautiful Friday. 
and start to your weekend. Wholeness. Balanced love. I will see you Monday, 11, 11 a.m. Eastern, for the solar plexus chakra with our royal guest, Sarah Broadhead, as she will be talking about creating your own at-home herbal remedies, as well as creating your own herbal remedies for immune system boosting as we go into this winter. See you then. Thank you.